Unit 4, Research Methods. Section 1, Validity and Reliability. Okay, so today we're going to talk about construct validity, which is quite a tricky type of validity. Um, essentially today we're just going to look at what it actually is and why it is important in research. So let's work through an example. Imagine a group of researchers want to investigate the effect of regular exercise on happiness. So they get a large group of people and they divide them into two groups. One group are the people that exercise regularly and one group are the people who don't exercise regularly. And essentially they then measure everyone's happiness and see if the happiness levels are different between the two groups. However, we have a problem here. How do we measure a psychological trait such as happiness? It's not something we can see, so how do we measure it? And if we do measure it, is our method valid and reliable? And this is what construct validity is all about. So, construct validity. The definition really is, is trying to identify that um, if we've got a population who differ in a construct, our test should be able to tell the difference between the two. So in this particular example, our construct is happiness, and so we should be able to find a test that can differentiate between people that are happy and people that aren't happy. So a construct is, you know, really something that's very difficult to measure that probably doesn't really exist in a physical form. So heart rate is not a, a, not a good example. Heart rate is easy to measure. We can feel our heartbeat and we can actually see it beat if we use an echocardiogram. But a construct that is difficult to look at is something like happiness, because you can't physically see if someone's happy. Um, some are, sometimes there might be outwardly signs, such as smiling, but it's not actually that, diff that easy to measure. So a construct is usually a psychological trait, happiness, depression, anxiety, and it's very difficult to measure. So our gold standard questionnaire for measuring whether someone is happy or not is called the satisfaction with life scale and this is the best measure we have so everything else gets compared to this so if we were to find ourselves an online happiness quiz the question with construct validity would be how well does this quiz relate to the answers that someone would give on the gold standard test the same applies for trashy magazine quizzes and also if you just made your own quiz up yourself So it's obviously very important because a construct is very difficult to measure. You can't physically see it. But even though it's difficult to measure, we do need to get it right. Otherwise, it's no, there's no point doing the study. So how do we decide the construct validity of a test? Well, we can undergo uh, a number of little experiments with our questionnaire, comparing them to the gold standard. I'm not going to get into how we do that now, but it can be done. So we can actually rate how good a, a questionnaire is at measuring a construct. So if we've done that, and a study has used a very valid and reliable test for a construct, then it has high construct validity, and that's really good. If, on the other hand, we use a questionnaire or a test that does not have very valid or reliable, uh, and so that it has low construct validity, then that really obviously affects the, the questions uh, that would surround our study. Okay, so in conclusion, constructs are difficult psycholog psychological measures to look at, and so construct validity is about us choosing the best test to measure that construct. And of course, if we do that, it means our results are the most truthful and accurate that they can be.